Laura from Nine News Wide Bay is with us. Uh, we had Albo in town, hey? Yeah, Anthony Albanese made it into town today, uh, this week. I think that was on Tuesday, cast my mind back then. And he came to Downer, uh, the, the train manufacturing company, and he was sort of saying he's got a vision for when he gets elected, saying that he wants um, more manufacturing and he wants more jobs in manufacturing. He wants to make Australia the hub of train manufacturing. Um, the LNP on the you know, on the opposite side, they said that they've got the same goal and they've already invested $1.5 billion into manufacturing. So the election might be called at the end of this year, so they're sort of battling it out already. Okay, and uh, I saw George Seymour was right behind this one. He said we should be making all the trains here. Yeah, it's the common theme. Like, we've got this great facility um, in Downer. I believe it's got $2 billion in the state election last year. Uh, and the thing is, we've got uh, Bruce Saunders, who's the actually the assistant Minister for Trains. So and Minister for Red Shirts as well. Minister for Red Shirts, obviously. That's just, everyone knows that. But, uh, yeah, so basically, we've already got the hub here and they sort of want to really milk that and, you know, get as many jobs as we can on the Fraser Coast as possible. So what's happened uh, with these guys that lit the fires over on Fraser Island? Yeah, so one of those was in court yesterday. Uh, he was fined $667. So he was charged with unlawfully lighting a fire. Um, many people say it's quite a light punishment. But the courts have said, well, they're not responsible for the two months of devastation that followed. All they did was light the initial fire and the inquiry will figure out the rest. Uh, so, yeah, it is a bit of a controversial topic. But uh, yesterday in, in court, um, one of, a letter was read out by one of the boys uh, and he said it was an awful mistake. Uh, and he loves camping and he never would have meant that to happen. They genuinely thought the fire was out. And, yeah, that's what's happened in court. Okay, and um, we've seen uh, something really good happen with Tent City. A lot of people have been homed. Yeah, it's been sort of the flavour of the week. Um, Tent City really picked up about Monday, um, sort of got national, well, statewide and national traction. Uh, I went past yesterday and it was, yeah, there was definitely less tents there. Uh, it's sort of an issue that I think will be ongoing for quite a while. Uh, we've been speaking with people at Tent City and it's just multi layers of issues there, but hopefully it's the first step, just getting an actual roof over the head, you know, should hopefully make all the difference. Yeah, absolutely. And in some great news uh, that kids are running around doing the triathlon. Yeah, it's a big day on the Fraser Coast. 700 kids from around the state heading, um, yeah, to Harvey Bay, to our Esplanade. They're all battling it out to make the Queensland team for the triathlon. Uh, yeah, it's. A, I think it's one of the biggest numbers they've had so far. So yeah, we'll see who's the, the top of them. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Laura. I'm going to find out a little bit more on what's happening at Tent City with uh, one of the guys from the Red Tape Shredders on the way. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. That's awesome. Bye. That's great.